I will, honest, I can tell you, I will never be in Lori Vallow's shoes. <laughs> you just keep this tape, promise me. Um, so I will never know what it's like to stare at 12 people who are about to literally deliver the rest of your life to you, right? You're gonna sit inside a box for the rest of your life, or you can walk out the back door as soon as you get processed and, you know, get some paperwork done. I, I will never know what that's like, but I at least have humanity, so I know a little bit of how you'd react. And today, like stone cold Lori Vallow, staring at these 12 people who just gave five weeks of their life uh, to sit in judgment of her and have to look at all of her work product, they'll never unsee that, right? But this is her, stone cold Lori. Not a glimmer of emotion. I want to bring in Scott Rouse. He's in the business of making sense of behavior like this. He analyzes it for a living, in fact. Scott, um, so just give me your, uh, you know, top line on, on that reaction. What well, we're looking at in a nutshell, in my opinion, and I think it's not just my opinion, but uh, a lot of other folks that I've talked with as well in the same business I'm in, I think she's a straight up psychopath. We're seeing no emotions at all, nothing whatsoever. And the reason being is her brain, I would, I would venture to say, and I will bet anyone as much as you want to bet, there's something wrong with her neurologically. And the thing that would be wrong with it would be her amygdala aren't functioning properly. That's the part of the brain that's a part of the limbic system. And that's the part of the brain that lets you feel emotions for other people so you can be empathetic. She doesn't have that. None of it. Not even a little bit. It's highly narcissistic, obviously. It's, it's class A clinical uh, narcissism, but it goes above that and it goes into psychopathy when you don't have the, when you have zero empathy, none whatsoever, other than for yourself. That's uh, what, well, that's listen, what I, um, I was in my head today juxtaposing this Lori Vallow because, wow, we finally got to see inside the courtroom. The judge, you know, barred the whole world uh, from being able to have a transparent trial. Don't get me started. But I was juxtaposing this with video from three and a half years ago where she came bounding into the court fresh off the beaches of Kauai. Um, you know, she was wearing jailhouse stripes, but her hair looked great. Her lipstick was cherry red. She had a big old smile and didn't seem to have a care in the world. So take a peek at, at this if you can see the, the return images and give me a bit of a feel mm -hmm. for who this Lori Vallow was three and a half years ago compared to today's Lori Vallow. Well, this is the psychopath enjoying the attention. That's the main thing they want. They're, it's just a body run around trying to please itself, basically. So what you're seeing here is she's trying to dress up and look as good as she can for the cameras and for the story because she knows it's going to be on the news. She knows it's going to be on the net. And she's taking every opportunity to make herself look great. And then when you juxtapose that with the way she looks now, when she's, she's wearing – like today when she's wearing those dark clothes and that long hair that just looks like it's been dropped on her head from the ceiling, just like a bad wig. It, it's, it's a dramatic difference because the psychopath or then the hardcore narcissist, the clinical narcissist, they can't accept that something is their fault, that they're wrong. And you've got 12 people sitting looking at her and telling her she's wrong. And that's really hard for them to, they don't accept it. So it's you know hard what for I her wonder, to take Scott, that in. Honestly, I, I look at her looking at that jury, and I think of what she thought about when Ty Lee gave her um, back talk, and when JJ was difficult as a special needs child at age seven, and what she ultimately decided to do to them, uh, because they were oppositional. And there is a jury of 12 people being the ultimate of oppositional. And I just wondered what she was imagining. Was she doing like one of those crazy seances where she's trying to eliminate them in her weird way with her culty behavior? Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.